When you study history, you put yourself in the shoes of people who've lived before us. The societies that we live in are constantly changing, and studying the past of those societies helps us understand the values that shape them. I think history uh, liberates us from being a child of our own time. There's something there for everyone. There's history of mathematics, there's a history in sciences, there's a history in language, and it's finding that passion in that particular topic that's going to get you to a different place. Coming to the program, my professors sort of opened my eyes to focus on things that I appreciated and things that I want to study. I think the greatest resource that the program offers is the faculty, which is a very impressive one. It's well published, it is internationally recognized. Writing books and articles, editing journals, speaking at conferences, and involving their students in the same work. The professors that I've had have all challenged me to become a better writer, a better reader, a better thinker. They're just real helpful and, and really open, really approachable. All of the graduate classes that I took were uh, smaller numbers, therefore you got to know your professor, you got to know the other students, uh, it allowed for some great discussions. You can be either a part-time student or a full-time student. It suits some people simply to do this part-time because they're teachers or because they've got jobs. The program allowed me to take courses that I felt would be pertinent to what I was going to be teaching and it has augmented the classes that I teach greatly. The New Jersey Historical Society in downtown Newark is a great resource. The Morristown Museum is a fantastic resource. You also have uh, the Newark Museum, which is very close by. You also have the Newark Public Library, which has archives in itself. And here at Seton Hall, we have a lot of resources. The library is really useful. The librarians are really awesome and helpful and willing to answer any questions that you have. The library has a rich, rich collection in Catholic history, in American history, women's history. We have an archive of both the university, but also a rare book collection that students can use to do historical research. And once you walk in and you start to touch and feel and read these materials that are from the 1800s or the early 1900s and you understand the importance, the significance of someone took the time to write this. Seton Hall's proximity to New York is yet another reason why the graduate program in history is so attractive. It takes about a half an hour to get to, to downtown Manhattan on the train. Some of our students have gone on to the really top-notch doctoral programs. Uh, we've had students who have gone on to Cambridge University, to Notre Dame, to uh, NYU. Uh, other students have gone on to teaching. Other students have gone on to business, have gone on to law school. Being in the history program here at Seton Hall it really reignited my love of history. I enjoyed every minute of my experience at Seton Hall and I would recommend it to anybody who was looking to go to graduate school, especially those who want to teach. There's always going to be a need to reflect on the past. Human beings are always going to be curious about how they got to where they are today.